A three-year investigation across several cities led to dozens of arrests and sweeping charges today against 40 people alleged to be a part of a gang called the Vice Lords. Victor Williams has more on what they're accused of. And Victor, the scope of this is, is really historic. Historic indeed. This is one of the largest investigations of its kind. On top of that, the Vice Lords are a very notorious street gang that's known for just how violent they operate. And this indictment goes after some of the leaders and higher ups, not only here in Detroit, but also in Chicago as well. Today was uh, pretty much a reckoning. And the reckoning is, is one, the city of Detroit has had enough, and two, the federal government said enough. 40 alleged members and associates of the almighty Vice Lords Nation have been indicted for multiple crimes ranging back to 2012. The charges consist of racketeering conspiracy, extortion, drugs, illegal firearms, and even murder. If they have got to kill somebody, they will. If they have to shoot them, if they have to assault them physically, if they have to stab them, then they'll do that. In a joint sting, officers were able to raid 13 homes in Detroit and Chicago, one of them being on Hubble Avenue. I think it's just guilt by association. The person who lives there in question, alleged leader of the Michigan Vice Lords, Kevin Fordham, also known as Spaghetti. Yet his girlfriend, who did not want to be identified, is saying that's not like him at all. I've known this man for 17 years. We raising grandbabies together. I just don't understand this. He's not that kind of guy. However, the ATF is saying he hasn't been doing the dirty work and that it's a hierarchy structure that's kept him out of trouble all this time, at least until now. Mr. Fordham in this gang has several layers of insulation to avoid detection from law enforcement. And we're told that a lot of these men are going to be due back in court soon, but this is only the beginning of this investigation. We're told that there are hundreds of vice lords here in the state of Michigan, over 700 to be exact. So, of course, they're going to try their best to get all of these people off the street. Victor Williams, Local 4. What a story. All right, Victor.